I'm getting, uh, what's that candy? What is that? Chews. You always got them for Halloween and you just like threw them away. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those dark chews. They're like in a black wrapper. Why is that uh, escaping me? This is Heavy Impulse. This is a bourbon barrel aged English style barley wine. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out here to Brian Holter for the design. Super awesome. Um, and he did the design for all three of these cans. I, I, I don't know, it's just, this is a really rad design. Simplistic, but fun. I like how the, the head of the spaceman kind of looks like the face of a watch. I don't know if there's any anything to that, but that's pretty rad. So barley wine, a style that I really don't have all too often, uh, especially the English style barley wine. I don't know enough about barley wines to know what the difference is. So yeah, this one is 12.17% or 12.1, 12.1, that's what it is. And let's see, I have some notes here. Like I said, you gotta follow Kip, your cast, because he loves to share his story behind some of these beers and he sent me over some notes, so I'm super appreciative. So from Kip, this is the first year we've released Heavy Impulse as a packaged beer. Rather than blend it in different barrel beers, we decided to go 100% one year old barley wine and the result is fantastic. While the non-barrel aged version of this beer is great, the barrel aged varietal underwent some remarkable evolution during its one year rest. The beer pours a tawny auburn. Let's pour it while we talk about that, right? Okay, let's crack it open. Whoa, whoa, all right. A little party in a can here. Oh man, this beer smells so good. I'm like smelling it, it's all over me. Okay, let's let's check this nose out. Mm, this is delicious. I'm getting, uh, shit, what's that candy? Um, you always got them for Halloween and you just like threw them away. You guys know what I'm talking about, those dark chews. They're like in a black wrapper. Oh, why is that, why is that uh, escaping me? Anyways, it's a Halloween candy that's like dark. It's got like a chocolatey chewiness to it. And I can't even remember what they are. Tootsie Rolls, there you go, Tootsie Roll. I'm getting Tootsie Roll, 100%. I can't believe I, I forgot about that. Yeah, Tootsie Roll. Wow. I, I've, I've obviously been drinking way too much. Great vanilla on this nose. He's telling me a lot of tropical. I don't think my brain would have gotten there uh, organically, but coconut for sure, really great nose. A lot of times when I'm going into a barley wine, I'm thinking that dried dark fruit. On the nose, I'm not totally getting there because it's got a really nice sweetness. So my brain is kind of like sticking with that Tootsie Roll, that vanilla, that coconut, very nice. Okay, let's dig into it. And that head is gone, so head retention is extremely low, which is totally fine, I think, for this style. Ooh, I'm getting kind of like a little, like caramel apple. <laughs> this is a sweet beer. It hides its booze wonderfully. You're not getting any booziness whatsoever. It's not harsh. It is really well balanced. It almost leans dessert. Like it's got a really nice sweetness that honestly I could use a little bit more kind of like heat on this beer just to kind of balance it out. But I think for like the English style barley wine, I think this is where it's supposed to be going. I think it's supposed to be a little bit kind of more on that sweeter side. But this is a really nice beer that really holds its own. Like 12.1% doesn't drink like it whatsoever. Maybe drinks like an eight. Yeah, maybe as it warms, it will reveal the heat. I took the beers out about 15 minutes before I started this to hopefully warm them up a bit. But yeah, it is still a little bit cool. I'm pretty sure it would reveal a little bit more heat. It'd probably get a little bit thicker too because it does drink a little thin, but I think that's totally fine for the English style barley wine. This 12 ounce can could get you. I'm saying this beer could get you. 